I need to fix a bent go-kart axle. But not that one. This one's going to be actually a more difficult than my previous video. Um, because it's a front axle. This is supposed to have 50 millimeters or 2 inches of ground clearance. Now, there's nothing here. And there's well, a bit there. But still, it's not 50 millimeters anywhere. And that is... Let's call that 90 millimeters. This one is... It's closer to 100. So that's... Set up part one. Done. Now I need to move on to set up part two, which pretty much involves taking all this apart. It's a good practice. Always put everything back where it was, that way, you know where it is. Now we can just swing that whole arm. No, we can't. That's good. Same deal on this side. Okay, what I need to do now is create a, well, substructure, reverse jig if you like, um, putting a piece of tube underneath the main frame that will fit to the main frame, I'll figure that out, I've got a couple of ideas, but then mount to these C brackets, both top and bottom, so that I can cut these off and then when I put them back on, I know they're back where they should be. Obviously I've got to do that for both sides. I've got to make both sides identical, whether one's not in the right place or not. I need to make them identical just so everything goes back where it should be. That said, I've got a couple of ideas. Let's put that into practice.
My apologies about lighting and spatial situation in here. It's it's pretty pretty tight quarters at the moment. But that's the base of the of the support frame done. And then you see what everything is. Basically, these are just to keep it in place. Sorry, these are just to keep it in place while everything happens. And yes, I can move them from from here back to here just to get it out of the way if I need to. But that's the base situation. I've got my no, it's it's not going to move around. I can actually take these off There we go. Lift the cart. There you go. It just falls out. But it only goes in obviously one way. Boom. And it's that's it. It's in. It's in place. There we go. So that's exactly where I need it. I can clamp it in if I want. I don't have to clamp it in if I don't have to. But now we'll do our side pieces. To go from well here to here so we get these in the right place. Another montage!
Alright, you may have noticed I've welded these with the tabs on top, but they're now underneath because, well, the whole thing has to drop away. If they're on top, there's no way I'm ever going to get this thing out of here. And that actually works better because I can drop these C brackets into place. So, they're done. Both sides. There's the other one. Now, I've got one, well, actually two pieces left to cut. And that's the pieces that go between here and here. Now, remember I said this has to be identical. Well, it's going to be a bit difficult to make these identical unless they're identical. So, I think I have a plan. Let's see how we go. put a wing nut on that. In case anyone's wondering, yes I did fix me ice. Nice and sturdy now. Well, that's the final two pieces cut, and I actually ended up cutting them a little short, but that, in a way, is a good thing, because, um, well, these aren't back where they're supposed to be yet. Now, I have my bezel set to 20 degrees. If I lay that across the underside of the front axle, line it up, even with the layback that it has, you can see it's still got a ways to go. And if I weld all this together now, well, that's how it's going to be, which is incorrect. So I've tried pulling them down. I could only get it so far. So now I'm going to have to take a different tactic. And I need to get those down to that 20 degrees. Otherwise, this whole exercise is just pointless. So... 
Now we start cutting. But that's going to happen on the next episode. Sorry, guys. Keep you in suspense. Not for too long, though. Next time, well, we'll at least get things cut and in place and everything welded to support Grace in place. We may not get it finished. It might go into a fourth part. We'll see how we go. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when the next part's coming. Share on, well, wherever you like. Leave a comment below. I'll see you on the next one.